Hi, I'm Matthew Kelly, a PhD student working at Cornell with Andy Rubina. Today, I'm going to give a brief presentation about nonlinear robust control for a simple model of walking. Our controller tries to regulate some forward walking speed while completely preventing all falls given a bounded set of disturbances. We use the inverted pendulum model of walking, collapsing all of the robot's mass to a point at the hip and assuming a fixed length stance leg. The state of the robot can be represented by a single number, the velocity of the hip at mid-stance. Likewise, the net effect of all control actions can be represented by two numbers, the step length and the push-up impulse, both of which are bounded. The step length captures all motions of the swing leg, while the push-up impulse represents the rapid extension of the stance leg before the step transition. Despite its simplicity, this model captures many of the key features of bipedal walking control. The robot should never fall down despite bounded, but otherwise arbitrary, perturbations to the leg length, mid-stance speed, step length, and push-up impulse. We consider two types of failure. The first occurs when the robot is moving too fast, causing it to enter a flight phase. The second failure is when the robot is moving too slowly causing it to fall over backward before reaching mid-stance. The controller is a policy that maps the velocity at mid-stance to the desired step length and push-up impulse. It is computed as the solution to an optimization problem. Minimize error in walking speed at the next step while preventing all falls given the set of maximal disturbances. Once the controller is designed, we prove that it prevents falls for all possible disturbances. Using this methodology, we designed controllers for slow, medium, and fast walking. One interesting result is that the step length controller is essentially nonlinear. To change its speed, either to go faster or to go slower, the robot increases its step length. We verify the controller's performance by computing the set of initial speeds that are guaranteed to converge to the goal set without falling, given all allowable disturbances. We find that most possible initial speeds are safe and converge to the goal set, set within a few steps. In the absence of disturbances, the controller typically converges to the goal set within a single step. In summary, within the bounds of our model, we have found a controller for steady walking that is perfectly robust. It regulates walking speed while preventing all falls for any given bounded disturbance. Perhaps a controller of this general type can be used. At a high level, to control a more complex, real walking machine.